Welcome back to the Close and Destroy Utility tutorial number two. Here's we're gonna here we're gonna be setting up our um, the sides. You have up here the name. It's totally for um, gameplay, just so you know which side is which. When you're you've got your name. Now you need to have a unique name for each unit. It can be nondescript such as Tank One and Tank Two, and we're gonna use some other names as well. Next, you can select from a a uh, variety of vehicles. You have a couple of different statuses, operational, immobilized, dead. Then you have the standard armor that gets pulled over from the table when you define the vehicle. And then here you get to choose what um, additional armor is added, if any. Next, you can choose the countermeasures that are in force. The weapons, scrolling over to the right. The weapons are all pre-populated uh, based on how you defined your vehicle. You can see some of the weapons have four, or some of the vehicles have four weapons identified, and some only have two. Uh, some may only have one. I think the example we created last time, there was only one. Here we go. Bulletproof, one, um, only one type of ammunition. Pull down the screen for the ammunition. You can have up to four different types of ammunition. Even if the weapon can handle more than four, uh, there's only four listed here. And then you populate it with how much ammo is being held by that vehicle totally arbitrary numbers. And now your vehicle is ready. So what if you need more vehicles added to your army? You must select a total of five rows. Copy, paste. And that works great if you have a template vehicle. Maybe you've got a, a bunch of these bulletproof videos. So you have, I mean, vehicles. Tank one, this is tank 11. Maybe you've got 50 of them. You can quickly do that, you know, copy and paste. For example, you could copy and paste. If you go, if you keep going down to the shaded, into the shading, that works best. If you copy it and then you can just paste it right here, you can see that we've already, we just added three more. So you can use that template and add additional vehicles quite quickly. Now we need to have, make sure that they're all different. So we're going to call this tank 3, tank 4, and tank 5. Maybe they have different weapon, weapons or ammunition. And you can do that. At your own leisure. Right, now that you have your your army created for both side A and side B. You'll notice that there is some different coloration. I've got U Russia up here that we could call this UK. Uh, that is just for your own um, e visibility so you quickly are able to identify which side you're on so you don't get confused because the screens are exactly the same and you still need to copy and down, copy and down all the the rows. Although this one's got, you only need to copy and down, copy and paste down four rows. One, two, three, four. All right, like that. We'll fix that on the other side. Okay, so here we are to the battle sheet. Let's stop. Okay, here we are on the battle sheet for the for the attacking screen. Once you have your army set up, I envision this will be where you spend most of your time. As you're looking at the um, the miniatures on the map, if you've got a vehicle that you want to have attack, you select the side. If it's A or B, we're going to just keep it B. Remember, we had tank four. Let's select tank four. It needs to have the exact same nomenclature, spaces, numbering, everything. 
you can see this is the vehicle and it's operational great if it wasn't operational you would need to pick a different vehicle per game rules you now come down here and you'll see the vehicle the weapons that are available for that particular vehicle pick this one let's see what ammunition is loaded okay we have three rounds of that particular ammunition for that weapon let's see what happens some of these other ones this is blank what's the matter this means that there's no ammunition for this weapon on this vehicle that's when you need to go back over to side B looking at tank 4 you scroll over looking at ATP oh yeah I forgot to identify any ammunition this is going to have a sniper we'll put 5 in here come back ATP now we've got 5 great and you can see the ammo type is it a tandem does it have any countermeasures you also put in the distance to the target okay so that's another key point once you've got this updated here you come down here is it side A side B side B they're color coded between side A and side B it matches the tabs but this also makes sure that you're not accidentally um, performing friendly fire unless of course that is your intent maybe it's foggy maybe it's dark maybe communications down whatever so we've got side A we're gonna go attack Black Knight this is the vehicle it's operational the style of vehicle Eastern target class now the target side this is where you use the GM will have to come in here and select which side is it and so that gives you automatically the target class okay so the armor description I wasn't really sure how these two related so this is right now you're having to come in here and identify the target and it'll pull the standard armor if you have any applique applied so what's your effective armor is this 1395 this will tell you for that particular round the penetration value is 700 unless you've got you know anti-tank or whatever um, now you'll select fire if you remember we'll just go through here quantity of five press f fire okay so we need to come back up here select ATV this should work Okay, that was just an error message um, sometimes when you get going fast you have to make sure that the computer understands that the weapon and the ammo selected actually match up with this tank so that was just telling you hey you need to go back through select the weapon select the ammo alright we pressed fire once and what that does first thing it does is it pulls ammunition off remember it was four five now it's four and now it's also oh, and it also uh, goes through and populates the dice roll alright so maybe you have a player that wants to do his own rolling uh, so they do their own rolling and they get a 52 okay so you can populate that countermeasures 33 great uh, active measures you got a 12 great so those all take an effect and you can automatically the fire will do two things one it reduces the ammunition and then it fills in these boxes with the dice roll these blue boxes okay once your battle is completed right maybe this maybe uh, tank four is gonna fire five or six times on black knight once it's done then you hit record results and it will populate uh, the defending vehicles defending vehicle with the new status so let's uh, let's just do this a couple times okay you can't see that but that says immobilized quantity is three so let's record the results now we're gonna go look at Black Hawk on side A and we're gonna see that it's immobilized you can see it's already been changed here Black Hawk immobilized okay if we were to do this a couple more times oh it's operational well you just wouldn't populate that 
if it was operational. Oh, the selected weapon is out of ammunition. Please select a different weapon to fire. Okay, so if you come up here, remember it's zero. There's no more ammunition. That's no longer an option for you to fire. We have to pick a different weapon. And there we go. It's hit. Side turret. The weapon is still operational. Okay. In this case, it's already immobilized. You wouldn't want to record the results. It gets in a battle if it comes mobilized again. It doesn't make sense.